I'm doing this off my computer so it's extremely sketchy and I'm getting squeaky because I'm so angry. Hi there, this is a long time coming for an amazing Monday. Today is voting day in Canada and I'm really excited to vote. I'm going to go right now and I just have to say a few things before I go ahead and do that. I feel like this election is one of the most important ones in Canada's history. Um, we are faced with two uh, parties that have been kind of like just rotating for years throughout the whole entire history of Canada. We have been just passing it back and forth between the two parties, Liberals and Conservatives. And the last time the Liberals were in power, there was a huge problem with embezzlement. And then the Conservatives became in power and the problem with them now is that the Harper administration has been doing things for the country that's not necessarily good for the country. Um, like, for example, most of our lakes and rivers are no longer protected. Um, there's the First Nation women who are going missing and being murdered, and there's nothing that's being done by that. Um, the pipeline that's being fought is getting built without even having the backing of the entire country. Sure, it's gonna make a lot of money. Yes, there's gonna be jobs, but there's no money for the little guy. There's none of that. And I feel like the the Harper administration, like with the C-51, I don't want that to go through. Um, and all that bad stuff that he has done for our country is only benefiting the 1%, and I feel like that's not cool. For the Liberals, like, I don't have full trust in the Liberals. Um, I feel like they aren't telling the full story, they're just kind of telling you what you want to hear, and basically they're all for working with the Conservatives and Bill C-51 and all that I feel like both of those parties they hide a lot of things from the entire country so I had to make a list of what I want my country to be. I want our country to kind of grow a backbone. I mean we are the richest country when it comes to resources and we're not rich, like we're poor. We have super expensive groceries and have to buy miniature things and and we have all this resources at our disposal and we're just giving it away to other countries that are going to sell it back to us at a higher price. Like when it comes to gas, it's being sold to the states and then sold back to Canada from the refineries for crazy amounts of money like and and second of all like the gas companies are the worst companies ever they're right up there with prescription companies and like and we're just giving it to them we're giving them their tax cuts and all that because we believe it's giving us jobs which it's not not really not at all and I think I want uh, a government that is out there for the longevity of the country, like education, health, shelter for homeless people. Like how do we have homeless people? We have so much country that all you need is just to build a house and there you go, they have it. Look, oh, that's another job right there, building houses. So I'm getting all squeaky because I feel so strong about this. Uh, I want jobs, I want our resources, I want our environment, I want First Nations people to be people. Like how do our wonderful Aboriginal culture um, gets overlooked and gets overrun by the government? Like I want the rich guy to not get richer. I want the poor people to get richer. I mean, it's insane. I want grants for entrepreneurs. I want proper mental health care for teenagers and students and human beings. And also, like, just basically humanity, you know? I mean, how does our government not understand humanity. 
either way, whoever gets voted in for our majority government, I just hope they can all work together and respect everybody's views and uh, involve the rest of the country. Like, that's the whole reason why we have a democracy. Um, and I'm just hoping that it's all going to work out for the better after this election. I'm very nervous and scared to find out what the future holds, but fingers crossed that it's all good things. Okay, I did it. I voted. My hair is super sweaty from biking over here. I can safely say that this voting was a wild goose chase. I went to the wrong voting poll, so I had to bike all the way here to this other one. Um, luckily, it's a beautiful fall day, so that doesn't matter, but I'm really happy because I finally voted. Yay! It's in.